welcome back to part two of my alkaline vegan haul um i did a second store run to trader joe's to just read up on some things that i needed so i'm just going to share with you guys some of the things that are on dr savy's alkaline approved list and some things are not considered um some of the things i have are not approved on his list but girl i got what i could get because right now it's really hard to get like organic fruits and vegetables and stuff like that because of the pandemic that's going on and everybody's going crazy in the supermarket and then also i'm not able to travel to stores that i usually shop at so i tried to get what i could so yeah bear with me okay so i got this baby wild arugula which is arugula you guys know what it is and i just use it as a salad or if i saute some vegetables i'll just top some raw arugula on it it's amazing organic cherry tomatoes and i just stocked up on some more of these i like to cook these up in my saute dish or if i'm making like a salsa so yeah these are very delicious the regular um, tomatoes are not approved but just the cherry tomatoes so i usually get these if not i usually get the kamatos which are the brownish um tomatoes and those are really sweet and really good i got some organic baby bella mushrooms And um, these I saute, or if I'm making like a vegan pizza, I'll top these on my pizza, or I just saute them, or I put them in my salad. I love mushrooms. They act as a meat replacement. They're very filling, and I like to make uh, jerk mushrooms over rice. It's so delicious. The thing I got is this bok choy. This is not on his list, but I love bok choy, and I needed more greens. I got some of these. I like to... Um, Steam these or chop them up and saute these as well. I got some Brussels sprouts. These are not on his list, but I really enjoyed them. Um, I never really used to like them before, but I made sure to get them organic. And then they're like purple. So what I just do with these is I just steam them. And then I just put a little light seasoning or sometimes I don't even really season it because my meals are already like well seasoned. So this would just be like a side dish. So it doesn't really need much seasoning. I enjoy it as is. I have some cucumbers, which is also approved on this list. And I try to get um, USDA organic. Anything that's organic, I try to get. Unfortunately, kale was all out at Trader Joe's, but I got this Power to the Greens, ready to eat organic greens. And it just basically has baby kale, baby red char, baby spinach, baby collard greens. And yeah, but those are not approved for Dr. Sebi, but the kale is approved. So there is kale in here. So this is pretty good as well. Now carrots are not approved on Dr. Sebi's list, but I get carrots because if I'm making like a chana or if I'm making um, my favorite beet juice, I use carrots. It's like not having bananas for your smoothie. Like that's how I view the carrots. Like it just gives it this taste. Um, and I these are the organic and these are like many colors So it, he doesn't approve of carrots, but um, I don't always buy them this approved on his list okra. I didn't get this from Trader Joe's I just got this at my local supermarket and Basically, I usually just cut them up and I snack on them raw I like them like that or I just um, chop them up and I saute them Yeah, I just usually cut these up and saute them or you can steam them and I, this is also just a side dish um, to when I'm cooking like a lit vegan meal. So okra. I never really liked okra before because I never liked how slimy it was. But I make them to where it's not that slimy. So basically the way I make them is I just put a little vegan butter. And then I just saute them as is. And I don't saute them for too long. Some oranges to um, get some vitamin C. I don't take any like vitamin C vitamins or anything I just try to get everything directly from my food all the vitamins and nutrients I just try to get them directly from my food so you definitely need some vitamin C and besides eating them like this I also steam with them for respiratory steam really great you guys should try it so I got some apples um, this is the envy apples I really like these These are really crispy really crunchy and really sweet so I like to juice with these or just eat them as is it tastes like candy almost. I also got some Fuji apples. I love apples. So you can't go wrong with apples. So yeah. 
these Fuji ones, they taste different. They're also sweet, but it has more of like a tart taste than the Envy Apples. I got some raspberries and um, berries are approved on his list. So I usually just put these in my smoothies or I just snack on them. So I got some figs. Figs are approved on his list, but I got black mission figs, which are good for like your uterus and your reproductive health. I'm seeing an improvement. So they're not the greatest tasting things. It kind of tastes like a prune or like a raisin. Um, but I try to at least eat like three. I try to at least eat like three every day with my breakfast. I stocked up on some frozen fruits because Trader Joe's has a lot of like seedless fruits. So they don't have like any real fruits. It's all GMO fruits. So whatever seedless, I try to stay away from. So I opted to get a lot of frozen fruits for like my smoothies and my juices. So I got peach. This is approved on his list. I got some berries, any type of berries. Um, that's, these are organic blueberries. And then I got these organic strawberries, frozen strawberries. So I try my best to get like frozen i mean i try my best to get like organic fruits and vegetables as much as possible so this is the frozen organic strawberry and then i also when i make like pancakes in the morning or waffles i cut them i slice them on um the pancakes or waffles with some maple syrup and girl they're so good so bomb a cantaloupe i really love cantaloupe i love how sweet so melons are approved for dr savy and melons are so sweet so good so juicy so i put these in my juices i haven't tried it in a smoothie but i put these in my juices or i just cut it up and eat it papaya i've never had a papaya before so it's gonna be my first time trying it i heard a, um, papaya is good for like parasites and stuff as well so i'm thinking about putting this in my smoothie bowl and i'm just gonna cut them up and just have like that so yeah, papaya. I got some regular bananas. Um, Dr. on Dr. Savy's list, um, regular bananas are not approved. It's the Borrow Small Bananas. And I usually could get them in my neighborhood, but due to this quarantine and stuff, I'm not able to travel and get them. So I got what was available to me, what was closest to me. So I just got some standard um, bananas for my smoothies. I do try my best to stay away from bananas. Um, because I feel like they do give me a lot of mucus. So I always buy the smaller ones. But if I can't buy the smaller ones, I just don't buy any. But due to the quarantine, I got what I could, baby. So I stocked up on some of these bananas as well. Because I need them to make my smoothie. Then I got some mango chunks. These are not organic. I try to get organic when I can. And, um... I said this is what was available so I got some mango chunks um, speaking about um, berries I react on some elderberries for my immunity and I'm gonna do a separate video talking about different alkaline herbs that I got so that's gonna be a separate video stay tuned for that but um, yeah elderberries are on his list as well so much benefits to elderberries and I will let you guys know the full detail on elderberry and how I incorporated in my diet and all the benefits in the next video so I got a bag of some avocados every time I go shopping I pick up avocados um, I usually make a guacamole out of my avocados or I just eat them like this with whatever meal that I'm having I can't find any key limes at my store so I got I opted for these organic limes this is the closest I can get to getting some lime, some key limes hopefully I can find like a, um, a farmers market in my neighborhood when this is all over so I can be able to get the things that I need I got some dates and I use this to sweeten up my porridges smoothies or just eat them as a snack as that like that this is how dates look so dates are approved on his list got these um freeze-dried fruits as well and i top these with my cereal this is like blueberry and this is grapes and this tastes like candy so i like these a lot it's my first time trying it and i really like it 
And then these, I usually put them in my yogurts and my cereals. So freeze dried fruits are a great option as well. This is approved squash. Well, the coyote Mexican squash is approved on his list. Okay, squash is approved on his list. So um, I usually get any squash that's in season. So I usually get any squash that's in season, like acorn squash or whatever squash they have. So this is the butternut squash. And I usually dice these up and I put some seasoning on them and I put them in the oven and they're so good. They're like roasted squash. So I like that with my meals as well. So sweet potatoes is not on Dr. Sadie's list, but I try not to eat potatoes because of starch. And sometimes I need something a little more filling with my meal, so I did get some sweet potatoes. I got some Korean, I think it's, I think it's Korea, I think this came from Korea, but it's an Asian, it's the Asian um, sweet potato. It's really good, it's more of a thick consistency, so you can use this for like a mashed potato, and it's so good. It's like really sweet and dense and thick and creamy, like try it, it's so bomb. But sometimes I get like the batata. But those are not approved, but those are good. Okay, so um, what else is approved? I got some hemp seeds, and these hemp seeds, I incorporate them in my smoothies. I incorporate them in my salads. I just use them as like a topping. So I got some more vegan butter, and this is the soy-free option. And I just do some toast with some of this. Or if I'm cooking up a dish, I'll use some vegan. This is so bomb. This is Trader Joe's vegan banana bread with walnuts. When I mean this is fire, this is fire. Okay? So, yeah, I love it. And for a vegan banana bread, it don't even taste healthy good. It tastes good. Nice and sweet and just perfect. So, I always read up on this when I go. You can see the walnuts on it and the walnuts are alkaline approved for Dr. Sadie. Bananas, okay. So um I got some walnuts here and these are approved on his diet. Walnuts are very drying. Um they're very a dry nut. So if pause. So if you're eating walnuts you need to drink a lot of water because it's like really drying. You're gonna be drying. You're gonna be like parched. So um, walnuts are approved. I got these from Trader Joe's. On his list, it says agave syrup, but I got what I could, so I got this maple agave syrup blend. I like maple syrup, but it's not on his list. But this tastes so bomb on spelt pancakes. It's kind of like watery, but it's sweet. It's good. It's good. Trust me, you guys should try this. It's good. Our stop. So soursop is approved on Dr. Savy alkaline list and I can't get the leaves right now but I got the tea so I make these with my herbs and you know I'm gonna tell you guys all about the soursop tea on my next herbal video I got some cloves cloves is on his list I use the cloves to like season up my food like my quinoa or whatever i'm making and then i usually put this in a tea or i usually put this in my respiratory steam as well and you could also um use clothes as a mouthwash. wash i think you just like maybe blend it with water i'm not sure i've never done it before but i heard about it so yeah i'm gonna look into that and try it as a mouthwash as well I need to get some more grapeseed oil, but every time I go to Trader Joe's, I get some grapeseed oil. That's approved on his list. Coconut oil is approved on his list, but it is, you're not allowed to cook with coconut oil, and I used to cook with it. So I only cook with grapeseed or avocado oil. Um, all right, so I got this coconut, cultured coconut milk, blueberry yogurt. Okay, it's vegan friendly no dairy and it's really good and i usually top this with like granola or my freeze dried berries or whatever um fruits i have a really great snack okay i got some coconut beverage coconut milk is on his list and we use this for smoothies 
Then I got the organic coconut milk reduced fat, and I use this for like my sound peas, quinoa and peas, um, porridge. I use this if I'm making drinks. So this is very versatile. You can use coconut milk for anything. So coconut milk is approved. Got some chickpeas. Um, Dr. Savy does say to stay away from canned goods, but because of this pandemic, I did stock up on some. I use chickpeas for my chana or just for like a stew dish or I use them as a salad. So we eat a lot of chickpeas. So this is approved on his list as well, chickpeas. And obviously you could get them raw, but I wasn't able to, so I got it in a canned form. Okay, so this, so if you guys need to stock up on some canned goods as well from Trader Joe's, they got this Trader O's. It's like ravioli, but it's vegan, so it don't got like milk or any meat or anything in it. It's really good. This is not approved on his list, but this is for when times are hard and um, you need some non-perishable items stock up on these these are so good so i usually eat this and i season it up a little bit and then i eat it with some crackers it's good 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 if you ever have ravioli you would like this it's just organic and it's just vegan friendly so it's like the same concept of ravioli have fresh um tomatoes i got this vine ripened tomatoes diced tomatoes um for when my when all my fresh when all my fresh fruits are done, I can move on to my canned goods. So. Okay, so I got some diced tomatoes. Not approved, but these come in handy. I got some applesauce. This is organic and it's unsweetened. This is really good as well. So it's like a good snack. Apples are approved on his list, so applesauce. Some oat milk. This is not approved on Dr. Savy's alkaline list. No oats are approved on his list, but I really do enjoy oat milk. And I will be making hemp milk with my hemp seeds and all that. So yeah. All right, so I got some organic red quinoa. Um, there's different types of quinoa. There's like a tricolor, um, and there's like a white, but this is my favorite red. I think it just tastes more richer and just tastes better in my opinion. So quinoa is approved, and then I got some of the seaweed, nori. So on Dr. Savy's list, he approves of any type of like seaweed. So any sea vegetables like wakame, dulse nori so these are the nori wraps and i use these to make like sushi or just like a wrap with like veggies in it so yeah some nori wrap and i got these on my travels to japan i stocked up on these so any sea vegetables like this like nori or dulse is approved on dr savings list so these are two more things that just came in the mail that I ordered from iHerbGrow.com and these are approved, both approved on Dr. Savy's alkaline list. This is date syrup. I've never tried it before. I've usually just used dates whole and blend them in my porridge or my smoothies or whatever I'm using it to sweeten. And this is amaranth grain that I'll be using for like porridge. I've never had it before so I'm excited to try it and add it to my diet. Um, as opposed to eating oats and yeah I'm can't wait to try it I'll let you guys know how that works out for me so yeah these are two things I've ordered some more things online but unfortunately they didn't reach here yet before I can upload this video so just wanted to show you guys these two things that just came in the mail thank you guys for tuning in I hope you guys enjoyed my vegan alkaline Dr. Sabies approved haul I know everything wasn't approved by Dr. Sabi, but this is the things that I can get currently during this quarantine, and I hope everybody is safe and boosting their immunity and just thriving and living right now during this time and using this time to self-reflect and um, pick up a hobby or just eat healthier, you know? So thank you guys once again. Um, if you enjoyed this video, thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more of these health videos. Thank you guys so much. Be blessed. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.